Hi guys, I'm Jiaoying Summers. I got hair extensions. Oh, word! I won't get it because I'm just going on a date with a guy. I really want to trap him, so I just feel like my problem is my hair. I think I have a tiny forehead. I just、uh, laser my forehead to be bigger. Do, do, do you see a difference, Evan? How do you laser your forehead to get bigger? I shaved a little bit of hair. Thank <gasps> God, like a like a. I mean, receding hairline is worse than this. But I have a small forehead, and I realize that's not that's why I'm not getting. This is so、anywhere. everything opposite of what I know in life. Like, I shaved right here and right. Not much. I don't want her to, you know. To be bald because I'm not rich enough to handle that look yet. So, so now I have a bigger forehead. I think I'm gonna really find someone. This is the opposite of everything I've ever known.、Um, every every generation in my family is fighting receding hairline. Did they draw a little hair there? I sh- I'm shaving it because it's so tiny. Like I have small forehead. I just realized that because I I used to learn to love myself. I'd be okay with my face. Now I'm just like let's see what's、maid. wrong. Yeah, my maid's like,、uh, yeah, you you have. She's like you have big hip, but no, not no fat on it. Big hip, no fat on it. Like, your bones big on your hip, but you don't have fat on it too. I mean, we're getting bullied with things that we can't help over here. It's starting to get.、Yeah. You can't help your bones. Yeah, I. Have, she's like you have you big bones. She told me you big bone. Do you talk back to her? No, I I really can't because she speak Cantonese, and then I talk back to her. She speak a bunch of in Cantonese. Now I don't understand. I know it's more offensive. She talks to me in Mandarin. Broken Mandarin. She goes, "Your 屁股大，只是骨头没有肉 You big, but no meat, only fat, only bone. Very tricky." Then I say, "I think I look okay. It looks good in America." She goes, "I don't know her like、uh, the Cantonese language. I don't understand Hong Kong people." Do you guys have anxiety? I feel like you guys don't have anxiety because you really just get it out at each other. I think so. I don't really have anxiety. Like my mom, she was checking herself out in the mirror in DC. I took her to DC, and she goes, "I really like my new haircut. It really makes me look、oh. good." I think I look okay. I said, "Mom, no, your problem is not haircut; it's your face. It's so old and fat. I can't、oh. even get a facelift for you. You have to lose weight so we can sew the skin in, so you can look actually better." She looked at me. She goes, "Daughter, you really care about me. Thank you. That's so nice of、oh. you. I'm gonna lose weight so we can make appointment with your surgeon." I said, "Yeah."、Mm-hmm. Oh, hair is not、God. problem. You can be bald like a Jada as long as you have a pretty face, Mom. She goes, "That's actually correct." Your my daughter tell me everything. She was so proud. She goes, "My daughter tell me everything." She cu- hugged me and kissed me. This is just the just kidding. She would never hug me. God, it's just and it is back and forth, and it does hurt. Every other thing you say is really mean and hurtful. But, but it makes sense. I'm like a mom. But, but there's no passive aggressiveness. There's no questions.、Yeah. You guys know exactly how you feel about each other. You know the things to hate about yourself and the things that you need to improve upon. And no one's fake. And and it's it's just the opposite of of who I grew up with. And it just feels like. You guys don't have to worry or wonder what somebody thinks and hates about you. What would be like a little passive aggressive thing your mom would comment on your look that is like, "Oh, look at how much there is to love about you." <laughs> <laughs>